right now that we have got the brand new one ui 6.1 update based on 6.1.1 with all the brand new features on the galaxy s24 series in this video let's have a look at some of the hidden features on this update but before we go ahead if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe more than 80 percent of you guys who watch my contents have not subscribed yet on the channel if you subscribe you get to learn a lot about your galaxy phones android phones and galaxy watches and many other tech related topics so go ahead hit the subscribe button and become a part of apex community and yeah give this video a like if you find this informative now let's go ahead now we have got a brand new option under auto blocker for extra security when you go to the settings and tap on security and privacy here we have got auto blocker option this was there before as well but now we have got an additional option here when you tap on this we have got maximum restrictions right here at the bottom now by the way auto blocker helps keep you safe from security threats suspicious activities and privacy risks it blocks the applications from unauthorized sources blocks commands by usb cable blocks malware images in messaging applications and it also blocks software updates by usb cable so this is a very important security feature that we have got and now we have got an additional option maximum restrictions it provides extra strong protection for people who need more security some of your phone's features will be restricted let me tap on this as you can see it is disabled right now you can go ahead and enable this feature if you want that extra security what it does is it turns on application protection apps installed on your phone will be checked for malicious activity it blocks device admin applications and work profiles from being activated on your phone it says this protects you from attacks where these features may be used to access your data or remotely control your phone and then inside samsung messages it blocks auto downloading attachments blocks hyperlinks and previews removes location data when sharing pictures and inside the gallery it blocks shared albums removes location data when sharing pictures so these are some extra protection some extra restrictions which we get when you enable this particular switch so if you want that extra security go ahead and turn this on now inside the gallery now we can clip multiple objects on a single image let me show you that let's go to the gallery now we have got this image right here now on the previous version of the one ui when we press and hold on a subject it will just clip one of the subjects or it will clip both of them together now with this update you see we have got two subjects here on this image i can press on this one to just clip this image or i can press on this one to clip this image so we can clip this separately and save them as stickers or share them or copy them or even edit them next if you're watching any contents on pip mode then we can now drag and drop this particular window into split screen view earlier this wasn't possible earlier we could only drag it and close it but now when you press and hold on a pip window you can drag it towards the top or towards the bottom to open that application in split screen view and then open another application in the second screen if you're into multitasking this is going to be very very useful next inside my files application we have got a hidden feature now we will be able to drag and drop a particular folders from my files onto the home screen let me show you that when you open my files application let's go to internal storage here let's say i want a particular folder here to be added on the home screen earlier we could press and hold on that and then uh, you tap on this three dot button and then you tap on add to home screen but now all we can do is just press and hold on this folder drag it go to the home screen and drop it right here i mean both the procedures or steps takes the same time almost i would say but this is a pretty cool way of doing it best part is we get both the options we can manually do it by typing on the three dot button or we can just drag and drop it here i'll just press and hold on this folder drag it just uh, swipe up to go to the home screen and drop it right here and we should be able to execute this for a single image or single file as well let me open my files i'll press and hold on this image and uh, you see i can drag it now I'll go to the home screen and drop it right here. As you can see here, we have got the shortcut for this particular image. I can directly open it from the home screen. The next cool feature is on modes and routines. Let me go to the settings here. I will tap on modes and routines. Let's go to the routines and tap on create a new routine. Now under if condition, let me select messaging. Here we've got message received. I will select this. Here the if condition is either sender anyone or specific senders we can select and the messages, any message or message with specific keyword. Now this feature was already there on the previous version of One UI, but when we select this message with specific keyword, now we get these two options. One is when any keyword is found or when all keywords are found. Now you can specifically set a routine with the if condition when you receive a message with specific keyword or when all specific keywords you have selected are found. So you can key in the keywords here and when you select this option, 
it will only execute the action uh, which you have selected if it finds all the keywords that you have uh, typed over here. Now let me add a few keywords here. Payment received today and select the one you want here. Now if I select when all keywords are found, the message should contain all these keywords payment received today and if there is any additional keywords that you have selected or if you select this option when any keyword is found it will execute the action with any of these keywords it could be payment today received or any other keywords that you have selected now let's say when all keywords found i'll tap on done and here again i can tap on done and here we can select the then action let's say a message is received with all the keywords that we have selected we can execute some actions Next, inside the gallery, when you open a specific video file, you will be able to open it in video player here. Let me tap on three dot button, open in video player. And uh, when you are on video player, you can double tap on the right or on the left hand side to skim through this video or fast forward or rewind the video. That's another new feature we have got. Next, we will be able to answer calls with just a tap now instead of a swipe. Now to enable this, all you need to do is open phone application, tap on three dot button, go to the settings. And here we've got answering and ending calls option. Tap on that. On the top, you will see gesture to answer calls. It's either swipe or you can select tap option. Let's select tap here. Now I'll make a call to this number. Now I can just tap on this uh, receive button to answer this call. As simple as that. The next feature is answering using speaker. Now on One UI 6.1, we will be able to use the speaker by default when there is no headset or Bluetooth device connected. Whenever you receive a call, directly it will go to speaker mode. So if you are someone who is into uh, receiving calls on speaker mode more frequently, then you can enable this feature. Now I don't do that, so let me just disable this. Next, we have got a cool feature called Profile Card. Now we'll be able to create our own profile card, which will be displayed on the other Samsung phones when you make a call. Now let's go to the uh, phone application here and tap on contacts. This is my contact right here on top. I will tap on this. And this is where we can create our own profile card right here on top. You can see create profile card. I'll tap on this. Now here you can select some colors if you want or you will be able to select your images. Let me just pick an image here. I'll select this one. Now this is how it looks. I can also change the text here. You see we have got a few options for the text, a few uh, customization options. We can select the color and we can select the text size here. And we should also be able to move this a bit around here. No, I'm not able to move it for some reason. I will only be able to uh, crop this image. And then we have got portrait studio option. Let me tap on this. Let's see what happens. As you can see, we have got cosmic 3D cartoon watercolor sketch option. If you want to create uh, your own cartoon, you can generate it right here. They all look pretty cool, just in case if you don't want your actual image and if you want to convert it into 3D cartoon, comic, uh, watercolor sketch, you can just do that and uh, you will be able to change the effect right here. As you can see, we have got the background effect, original, blur, grayscale, uh, grayscale background, colors, ink, pastel, oil paint. These are the options that we get and we will be able to uh, set it and then just go back here and just tap on preview to preview this uh, profile card. You can see it has got a narrow option and a wider option. It says your image will be cropped to a square so it will fit the uh, widest screen sizes when it's shown on other people's devices. On most phones, it will appear narrower. So this is what we are gonna see on most of the phones and it looks pretty cool. You can just set this up and tap on done. Now, whenever you're calling another Samsung Galaxy phone, your newly created profile will show up there, which looks pretty amazing. Next, we have got a very cool hidden feature called live effects. When we open an image inside the gallery and swipe up, you will be able to see these options right here. You can see we have got live effect option. This is something new with this all new update. Let me tap on live effect. Let's see how it looks. It looks pretty cool. It has got some animation to it. The background is moving and even the subject is moving here. And I can just tap on save copy to save this image. This will be saved in video format. Let me just show you that. As you can see here, this is a video clip of five seconds and uh, this looks pretty cool. Now, instead of sharing a still image, you can create these live effects and live effects may not show up on all the images. Uh, so you'll have to be wary of that. As you can see on this image, it will not show up. It just shows the remaster, but on most of the portrait images, the live effects will show up. The next feature is translating in listening mode. Yes, we have got listening mode now on the translate feature. Let me activate this. This is on the interpreter. Let me open interpreter feature here. And when I tap on this hamburger menu, you can see we have got a uh, listening mode and conversation mode. Conversation mode was already there and we now have listening mode. When you select this, you will be able to select the languages here. And the moment you hit this mic button, 
it will start listening to the uh, speaker and it will start translating it to your language that you have selected. The next feature to note here is weather information update every hour. Now on this latest version of One UI 6.1, the weather will get updated every hour, which is gonna be very useful for some of you guys who are into checking weather frequently. Now these are some amazing new hidden features on the One UI 6.1 based on 6.1.1. Let me know which is your favorite feature and also let me know whether you have received this update or not. I have already posted another video discussing about all the new features that we have got. Uh, if you have missed that video, you go ahead and check that out. I will leave a link for that in the description. And uh, as soon as we get this uh, update on the S23 series or the S22 series, I will keep you guys posted. I'll tell you which features are available and which features have been uh, removed for the pre predecessors. So stay tuned for that video and uh, be sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, the link is in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. Go ahead and check it out and download it if you're interested. And yeah, do not forget to hit that like button if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you.